We will all offer the prayer of meditation. By the mystery of Christ, may our hearts be enlightened. May we realize correctly to become a man. At this time, may we all receive the blessings of of unlimited blessings to do more and more well, to pass them to our children and to live as a patriot. And may we be ambassadors of Christ for world peace. At this time, we believe we will receive the blessings of the word exactly. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Let's greet the person next to us. Because we've all come to do well, we have to do well. So we have to do well, but our present problems are that we aren't doing well. So we're not all like that. Um, Jesus himself, when he came to this earth, there were only 11 who were truly men. You know, Judas Iscariot, that was... He just came to do, he was just stuck there. He was added on to do God's will. So even Jesus himself, when he did it, there's no one that's truly a man. So these people who act like they're so good, you know, they've got these children who aren't doing well. They're cursed. They and their ancestors did that. And yet they go and listen to the demon sermons. So today's title is, Whose Words Do I Listen To? It's either God or demons. So out of the two, what am I listening to? So in the Bible, some people will talk talk about Solomon, but he listened to demons and, and died. So where do you think he went? But don't say that he went to hell. That's not something that, you know, we can do. Are you as respect-worthy as Solomon? But Solomon, he listened to demons and died. And then afterwards, his children, they all tried to kill each other. His kingdom was split into two, and his children kept suffering. So what kind of person are you? Whose words do you listen to? Galatians chapter 3, verse 3. So the problems that you have, that's what you need to solve. so sad and pathetic you know you sitting here you know your face it's not that you're blue when I look from here you're black because of demons some people are so pitiful but do you know how much you're like a beast that is perishing even though you have a disease and you're dying you don't know so you truly are a beast that is perishing it is so sad so do you think it's just you that dies like that Those cursed diseases go down exactly to your children. That is what is heredity. So in the world, you know what they're saying? In the world, the science, uh, you know, they're talking about this genetics, but how can you fix it? There's nothing but the blood of Christ. So the, the reason why you cannot escape from curses is because you put the Bible inside of your head. So if I say something twice, you're like, oh, you've already said that. So if you have excuses, grumblings, that's someone who listens to demons. Why is it that not only do you go to hell, but why do you eat up your children and ruin society? You know, if you can't be faithful towards your country, why do those things? So at this time, Almighty God says he's helping. Galatians chapter 3, verse 3. Let's read it together. Are you so foolish, having begun by the Spirit, are you now being perfected by the flesh? Amen. What? You believe once and that faith won't depart forever? Here, what do you start with? You start with the Spirit, but you end with what? The flesh. If you are someone of the flesh, what kind of person are you? Let's find Jude chapter 1 verse 19. You have demons. You make denominations and factions. 100% everywhere you go, you argue and you make excuses. You're of the flesh. That is someone who is of the flesh. Someone who begins with the spirit and ends with the flesh. And then you say you only have to believe once. You know what's funny about a country? 
Even though they have demons, they say, Lord, Lord. They even talk about Christ. If you talk about Christ, then you have to talk about the mystery of Christ, because that's what Christ is. But they talk about Christ, but they don't talk about the mystery. What kind of lie is that? You know, you're better off not mimicking, you know, by saying Christ. You know, they, they curse us as heretics, and yet they follow after that. So they, they themselves must be so pathetic. You know, following the truth, how can that be heresy? So to say sermons that are pleasing to the ear, that is heresy. So the false prophets, 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 1, that is heresy, to deny the Lord. Jesus, why did he come to this earth? He came to save souls. If you say things like that, then you'll have to talk about all of the Bible. You only have to answer one word, but, you know, you just go on and on. You know, if you, if you are told to draw a tree and then you start by drawing the tiny little leaves, you know, how, you know what does God say? You start with the spirit, but you end with the flesh. So if you only have to believe once, and then you have salvation. Why is it the people would have to say to repent? And if you say to repent, why don't you have the mystery of Christ? Why is it that you're not doing well? Are you sitting here just for fun? Jesus, he didn't need this many people. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, he says, I don't need many numbers. Jesus, who came for the salvation of souls, he got rid of all the trash and he just used the 12. So should our... Should our church become a trash can? So, to go to heaven, to receive answers, to fix your destiny, to save your children, those people come. But if you're going to listen to demon words, if you want to go to those fake churches, those denominations, go there. But here, we don't keep those fakes, those, those trash. Only those people who want to do well, because that's what Jesus did. Jesus came to save souls. Why did he only use the 12? And why did he cast them all out? It's not he that cast it out. When he said correct words, they departed. So which words do you listen to? You want to receive blessings, but look at your actions. If you ask someone to do something, if they're not doing well, they're like, oh, no, it's not going to work. Someone who's to be ruined with their own mouth, they say, oh, it's not going to work. So they eat that. But someone who does well, even if they don't have salvation, if they at least receive earthly earthly blessings, you ask them something, they'll say, oh yeah, you can do this. But someone who doesn't do well, they always say, they always say, no, it does, it's not going to work. Or they say, oh, get rid of all and start again. If my situation, I, I, I can't, I can't ruin it, I can't get rid of it all. And I only have a little bit of money. So, And so that's why they may ask you, but then they go off somewhere else because you say, oh, just get rid of it all or use, you, you know, that's what you're doing. So they even end up commanding me to do something. This is what you should do. You know, they're asking for death. I myself continually ask the Lord, but they act like they're so much better and they're like, you should do this and you should do that. You're someone, if you receive two bowls of food, that's what you do. Someone who is to be ruined, you, you know, if they don't have one bowl, they're like, oh, I don't have one bowl. As soon as they have two, they start to do things by their strength. So what is a kernel? It's not because of the wind that the kernel hangs its head. It's not because the weather's cold. It's not because they feel like it. It's because they're a kernel that their head hangs. If you hang your head because you're in front of someone who is powerful, that's a double-minded, that's double-minded. The kernels, they don't gauge people's reactions. If you're gauging people's reactions, that's someone who's to be ruined in a filthy way. If you don't realize quickly, you'll eat up your children, you'll have disease, after that, if you realize that's good, but if you don't, you know, Job, he, 
He killed all his ten children. He lost all his health. But still he realized. What did he realize? By Christ. So how did Job receive blessings? You say patience, but patience is Christ. It's four-step repentance. But to not understand that. And you say that you're living a life of faith and that's why you listen to fake sermons. It's so sad. You say you want to do well and then you talk about how the economy is not good. What, the economy is bad? Someone who makes excuses, is that a man? No, they're a beast that is perishing. It's so sad. Colonels, whether someone's there, whether someone isn't, the chief, just because they're wearing good clothes, just because goats are wearing good clothes, do they become a sheep? No. But still, we can do well. Let's go that way. Let's go the way to do well. So if you're of the flesh, someone who's to be ruined, you know how many people there are like that? God says they start with the spirit and they end with the flesh. So who does that? It said those who are simple, they listen to dogs, they listen to the sermons without Christ. Those trash, those idiots, they start with the spirit and they end with the flesh. So we say let's do well, but if you can't say correct words, that's being proud. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 3 and 4. So if you're proud, then you're a complete enemy of God. But you don't know what humility is. You don't know, you don't know what pride is. Even if you have these difficulties and you cannot realize, then you're a beast that is perishing. I was like, what should I preach? Which word should I preach? Does, does he want me to do this? Does he want me to do that? I come here. You know, it's not just a beast that's perishing. These are cursed beasts. Jesus, is there anyone who has mu as much love as he does? Matthew chapter 12, verse 34. What does it say? Because, because we don't understand. That's why it's in Matthew 1, 2, 3, 4. He says, you brood of vipers. You're someone who eats up your parents. So Jesus of love, love, the loving Jesus, is that all he can say? It's because he is love that he said that. This, is, this works now. Why is it that you make it not? This lacking person, whichever country I go to in the world, they say, oh, this doesn't work. Well, well at that place, Miracles happen and blessings are poured out. But if, you know, as soon as you're about to be given something, you want to boast of yourself, you want to please yourself. Because you do that, that's why God doesn't give. So now let's realize. So someone who is of the flesh, who ends with the flesh like a beast that's perishing. So someone who boasts of their name when they die, you know, they say, oh, where is there a heaven? You know, these rumors... They've gone all over the world. So if I return to the flesh, that's being said to me. So who is it that is of the flesh? Let's read verse 19. So first of all, those who make these denominations. So it's the ones who are of the flesh that always make denominations. They gossip. They, they don't have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's left. And so that's why they're demons. Those people, they, they eat up their own lives. They're already they have problems. They have disease. And they hide as they go to the hospital. And so they eat up their children. Their children are a mess. And then they eat up others. So how can that be a man? And so God says, that's a beast that is perishing. Please, let's live. But even those people can do well. So today, let's make this work. Let's have a new start. Let's do well. If God said, oh, no, that person, they can't do well. But he says, still you can. So let's go this way. Let's read together. 
These are the ones who cause divisions, worldly minded, devoid of the Spirit. Amen. So those who end with the flesh, do they have the spirit or not? No. What do they, they what do they create? They always create denominations and factions. So it's because they belong to the flesh. But a man, so people are either of the spirit or of the flesh. Galatians chapter 3 verse 3. So you start with the spirit, but you end with the flesh. These are the dog pigs who are going to hell. So, if you're of the flesh, what's, what's the sign? Well, you make denominations, you make factions. That's someone who is of the flesh. That person, do they have the Spirit or not? And so they don't do the Holy Spirit. If you do four step repentance, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 10, you become one. If you have received the Holy Spirit, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 3, you become one. It's because you don't receive the Holy Spirit. That's why you make denominations. And yet, they lie. And, and they're so shameless. And, and, you know, they're asking for death, for curses. Isaiah chapter 43, you know, 21, he, he create, God created us. His purpose is so that we will be joyful and sing praises. So if we live according to truth, that's what will happen. But if you scorn the truth, you go to their families and see what happens. Galatians chapter 3 verse 3 first of all what does it say those who are simple so who are the simple let's find Proverbs chapter 14 verse 15 they listen to dogs they listen to cows they listen to the sermons without Christ they're of the flesh so 100% they'll go to hell and they go to these factions and listen to this and they listen to that they listen you know this liar even this liar you know, has salvation, and that liar has salvation. That's being simple. So even though you start with the spirit, you end with the flesh. That's someone who is simple. So what words do you listen to? But someone who does well, they keep coming and talking about the things that they're not doing well. Oh, this is what's blocking my way. But those people who don't do well, they they purposely don't say anything and you know i just i just leave them alone and i can see that they're they're wanting death it's when you boast of your weaknesses it's when you give up your weaknesses and repent about that do you think truly i didn't even attend elementary school why do i say that i you know i only came out of elementary because that's what's compulsory in our country but in the bible does it say because you study you become a man that those studies contain all evil and demons so to at least repent of that and to get rid of it so worldly knowledge is elementary it's for evangelism you know you graduate from university and after a year you can't even get employed you know why even boast about that so what what words do you listen to? So someone who is simple, they listen to dogs, they listen to... So if you depart from the faith, that's a dog, and they listen to dogs. Someone who is of the flesh, they have demons. They don't have the spirit. So someone of the flesh, what do they do? Proverbs chapter 14, verse 15. Let's first read about the, the simple. The naive believes everything. But the sensible man considers his steps. Amen. So someone who is simple, what do they listen to? They listen to all the trash. The sermons without Christ, the sermons of the denominations and factions, they listen to dogs, they listen to cows, they listen to everything. And then they're ruined. Those people, they even though they started with the spirit, they end with the flesh. That's what God has said. So those who end with the flesh, have they received the Spirit or not? Jude chapter 1 verse 19, they haven't received the Spirit. Those people always make denominations. What kind of person am I? What kind of person am I? Someone of the flesh, is that, it doesn't end with that. Let's find 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 3. Everywhere they go, they argue and grumble. 
and make excuses. Those people not, who know someone, even without a cent, in, in a rich country, within two years, he received hundreds of thousands of dollars in blessings. Now, even now, that works. Why is it that you're sitting there not doing well? So I went and checked with that person. I said to him, Pastor, when you came to Busan, even though you were so mistreated, I know, because God told me to mistreat him, I did that. I said, were you saddened in any way? And he said, I don't know. I had nothing but thanksgiving. If you have demons, it's always because of someone that you grumble. It's always because of something that you have excuses. The colonel, it's not because of something. If I'm faithful, if I'm a colonel, whether it's cold, whether it's hot, I'm still a colonel. You're a colonel this way, you're a colonel that way. Oh, it's because it's I, I was happy. That, it's because I was upset that I became a chief. This is why you don't do well. In front of God, someone who's received the Spirit as a gift, someone who's received faith as a gift, that it, it doesn't depend on their feelings. So in order to give that person blessings through me, you know, other people, it, 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 wouldn't, it, it would have been nothing to him. But even though he begged and begged to meet me, I, I wouldn't meet him. And yet after he received blessings, I asked him, I said, how? So I continue to repent for him. He said he had nothing but thanksgiving. And that's why even with empty hands he was given, he can make what isn't to be, Romans chapter 4, verse 17. But you, you're still holding onto your, even though you've got these credit cards, you're still saying you don't do well. You do the things not to do well. Now let's fix this. But those people who don't do well, they just get saddened by themselves. You know, a leaking bucket, wherever you take it, it leaks. And they're just saddened by themselves. But God says you, to be thankful in all things. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. So that's what you need to do. So Job, a little while ago I spoke about Job eating up his ten children, even though he was righteous in front of God. But he didn't entrust all his worries to the Lord. So who is it that eats up their children? The father, Job, the one that supposedly lives a good Christian life. He lost all his money. Who was that? Job. So what are you like? Do you meet the Lord daily and entrust all your worries and anxieties? And are you at peace? Do you live with thanks, thanksgiving and joy? No. Why? You know, there are people who even now are doing well who are receiving these miraculous blessings. Why doesn't it work for you? Because you're not obeying the word. So you start with the Spirit. Who? Solomon. 1 Kings, chapter 3, verse 9 and 10. So who made my life like this? You and your ancestors. Who made me like this? Your mother and your father. Your grandparents. Both sides. Eight people. Three, four generations on your, on your father's side. Three, four generations on your, your mother's side. So they, 16 people, made me like this. This is God's truth. Numbers chapter 14 verse 18. He will repay three and four generations. Who made my life like this? Your grandfather, your mother, your grandmother. Eight 
people on each side, 16 people. If you're taught all of this, why would he teach you this? No matter how much sin, as long as you repent with the blood of Christ, so be forgiven and to do more and more well. If we confess to do more and more well. So the one who teaches this to us, if you don't have thanksgiving for this, then that's someone who is truly cursed. What words do I listen to? So a sermon without Christ ruins your soul, takes you to hell. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Demons, they listen to this and, they, and so then they're like, oh, and they start talking about Christ. You listen to this channel and that channel, but they don't have the mystery of Christ. What kind of lies are they? And yet people listen to that. Someone who is simple, who listens to dog talk, who listens to man's talk. They, they seem to be a good person because they're listening to this and agreeing. They're listening to that and agreeing. But that person, they, finish, they end with the flesh. That was Solomon. And some people, they talk about, they talk about Solomon. But he listened to demons. He ate up his children and ruined the country. Why? Why talk about Solomon when God didn't even acknowledge him? He was acknowledged at the beginning, but then he went to the flesh and then he wasn't acknowledged. David, he seemed so like a bad person. And yet he repented to the day he died. He was an ancestor of faith. He didn't depart from Christ. Chapter 3, verse 9 and 10. Let's read it. So give your servant an understanding heart to judge your people, to discern between good and evil. For who is able to judge this great people of yours? It was pleasing in the sight of the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing. Amen. Solomon, when he sought after wisdom, whose heart did he please? The one who created us, the one who judges us, it was the Lord. Why? Why did wisdom please the Lord? 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 15. This is the key, the worthiness to go to heaven. Just because you receive faith, you don't go to heaven. Just because in a 100 meter race, just because you're chosen as a competitor, it doesn't mean you come first. It doesn't mean you finish the race. Just because you're standing at the starting line, that doesn't mean you finish. So faith is the beginning. It's the start. And wisdom is the finish line. So in a marathon, you know, if you're not in the top three or five positions, the rest, you know, there's no point them going to the end because there's nothing there to receive. So don't become someone like that. Just because you started the race, it doesn't mean you finish it. Those people who don't know wisdom and they talk about going to heaven. That's why when people die, they're like, where is there a heaven? This wisdom is in front of the man of understanding. Let's find Proverbs chapter 17, verse 24. So only the pastor of understanding receives wisdom and knowledge. But to not even know that. So what should we do? Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20. You go to the sermon of the wise. That's when you receive wisdom. If you go somewhere else, 100%, you'll go to hell. God says not to, and yet you go do that. We will read together. Wisdom is in the presence of the one who has understanding, but the eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth. Only someone who is a man of understanding is the pastor that God has sent. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. But to not know this. And you just say someone's a true pastor or fake pastor according to what you think. You know, that person, you see if they do well, their children do well. They become so cursed. So what does it say here? What is it that Solomon sought? He sought wisdom. 
to repent of 5,000 of the Bible verses. That's like a net with 5,000 holes. That's a fisherman that can catch men, a true pastor. So in front of that person, there is wisdom and knowledge. What is knowledge? Even now, miracles happen. Solomon, when he sought after wisdom, he pleased the Lord's heart. So if you read verse 11, 12, 13, 15, he, he gave him everything, even things that he didn't ask for. So what won't he give you? He gave a thousand sacrifices. Let's read verse, verse 4. How, do you know how many animals he caught and offered? He gave all of his wealth. In other words, he gave his utmost to God. If, you, if that was a thousand sacrifices, that's, that's three years. It's when he did that, that's when God appeared in his dream. And you know what he said about his father? He said, our father, my father, my father, your servant. And he said, I am a servant below him. So that's how much he humbled himself. So if I tell you, you slave, so that you'll be lowered, you're like, you say dog talk. Oh, how could pastor lower me in front of all those people? You're asking to be cursed. It's I'm doing so that you'll receive blessings instead of, if you don't have thanksgiving, amen, then you're crooked. Solomon, he said his father was a slave, and he said, I'm a, I'm a slave underneath that. So I'm a slave of slaves. So that's in verse 7. Now, O Jehovah, my God, you have made your servant king in place of my father David. Yet I am but a little child. I do not know how to go out or come in. Amen. So he says he is a servant of his father who is a servant. How many people here have repented to the point where they're humble enough to say their parents are, are, are servants? So why doesn't he give why doesn't he give you everything? Because you have to be wise. But you haven't repented like Solomon. So God makes me, you know, there's no time at dawn. So in order for them to receive blessings, say dog pig. But, I, but if I say you're like dogs, people are like, oh, how can pastor be cursing? It's for you to realize and to repent and receive blessings, to do well, to do more well. If you try to follow what the Holy Spirit does, you see what you're able to do. Why is it that you don't do well? Solomon did well. Why, why don't you? Because you don't have wisdom. It's because he did this. That's why he could. That's why he sought wisdom. And when he sought wisdom, he was pleasing to the Lord. And that's why he gave everything from verse 11. To, to 14 and in verse 15 it says it was a dream you know they say you should interpret dreams oppositely but this happened exactly it's demons who interpret dreams back you know in reverse if if there's if there's something you dreamt badly then you need to repent and change it is this amen so it's easy to say Oh, I'm a servant. But he said, my father is servant. I'm a servant and, uh, of my father. So these people who go to these fake churches, who only listen to parables, these fakes, they can't go anywhere near to being a disciple. They don't know the mysteries. If you say something like this to them, Matthew chapter 12, verse 34. If you say, you breed of vipers, they're like, oh, that pastor. You know, oh, how could he do... They can't understand the greatest love. So what are you like? So we can listen to this easily. So we've our, our level's gone up. Let's do more well. Let's truly do more well. Let's save ourselves and our children. Let's still do more well. 
Solomon started with wisdom. He started with the Spirit. After that, let's find chapter 11, verse 9 and 10. Let's see how he ended. He ended up serving demons. Chapter 11. So even up to chapter 10, he was good. But from chapter 11, he started to listen to, to demons. Verse 9 and 10. Now Jehovah was angry with Solomon because his heart was turned away from Jehovah, the God of Israel, who had appeared to him twice and had commanded him concerning this thing, that he should not go after other gods, but he did not observe what Jehovah had commanded. Amen. So if you have time, read after that. Whose words did he listen to? Whose words did he listen to? Other gods. In other words, demons. He listened to demon talk. Solomon, who listened to demon words. So up to chapter 3, even though he sought, all, he sought the wisdom, why did he end up like this? Well, if you read in chapter 11, he had 700 wives. He was crazy. So all his wives, they almost all of them serve gods. So he, because he was simple, he listened to dog talk. He listened to it all. He listened to his wives and he began to serve these idols. That's what it says. And so he begins to listen to the demon talk and, and serves idols. So you know what kind of person this is? Colossians chapter 3 verse 5. Let's find it. You say, oh... I attend church. I do four-step repentance. I don't serve idols. If you have greed remaining, that is that is serving idols. You grumble and you make excuses. That's all an idolatry. That's Colossians chapter 3, verse 5. If you please your flesh, if you're, if you're focused on your flesh, that's someone who serves idols. What does God say? Solomon, even though he started with the Spirit, if you're simple, you will listen to demons. You think that you don't listen to demons? You know, if someone starts to grumble, then you join in. And you become the same demon. Why did Solomon listen to demons? You know, he started with wisdom. He pleased the Lord. He said his father was the servant. He was the servant. That's what he did in front of God and man. He was so humble. But when he listened to demons, later if you have time, read it, what he did. He listened to 700 of his wives. So did he listen? Because he listened to man, you think he listened to God? That's why he ended up serving idols. That's the proof that he departed from the faith. Colossians chapter 3, verse 5. Let's read it together. Therefore, consider the members of your earthly body as dead to immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire and greed, which amounts to idolatry. Amen. So you're sitting here. Oh, I've done forced day repentance for many years, so so I'm doing well. I don't have idols. As soon as you have a little bit of greed in your heart, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 1, as soon as you have a little bit of greed, you make excuses and you depart. It's because of greed, this small greed. That is someone who's an idolater, who listens to demons. So what are you like? Here it says... Here it says to kill your flesh. So, someone who gives thanks here, if you go, but as a demon, you say, why'd you do this? Why'd you do that? There's few who actually have more thanksgiving for you not to become a slave to demons, to not become someone who's to be ruined, to not harm your children, to not be a traitor to your country. That's why he's done that. Here it says, to kill your your flesh. But as soon as you have a little bit of money, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 24, instead of using it for God, you use it to please your to please yourself. So soon he takes away your money and he won't give it to you because you keep pleasing yourself. 
that's someone who who is not a good person. So you have to realize. So here it says to kill your the members of your earthly body, your flesh, the fornication, and and these lusts where you pretend to love your neighbor. You have to crucify that on the cross. That is baptism. Galatians chapter 5 verse 24. So it says, your earthly body is dead. And you know what that is? It's fornication. These days, all these um, restorative medicines, it's all fornication. You know, you can, you can do well just living by the health that God gives. Here it says, this impurity, passion, evil desire, pretending to have this human affection, but it's evil. These lusts kill yourself. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 25. These people, James chapter 1, verse 14 to 15, they have greed. That's someone who is an idolater. Do you, do you think you're not included in this? Am I someone who is serving demons? And then you say, oh, I'm doing four-step repentance, but it doesn't work? Please, let's realize. How do you kill your flesh? Romans chapter 8, verse 13. Let's find it. You have to receive the Spirit to kill it. Before that, even if you fast, your body won't die. You do all sorts of things that it won't die. You say you don't listen to demons. But here it says, you're already an idolater. These are the sins that come from our heart and our flesh. Because things don't happen according to that, that's why you make excuses and you grumble and complain and you want to eat up your children. Like Joe, you, even if it's 10 children, you kill them all. No matter how much wealth you have, it all disappears. Why do you want to go that way? Let's turn around and go the way to do more well. Let's change our direction. Let's go the way to do more well. Is this our men? Let's not go the way to be ruined. God wants you to do well. And you and I, we want to do well. But it's because of our flesh. But, you know, it is idolatry. This is what Solomon fell to. You know, he, ha he had 700 wives. Idolatry, you think it's, it's to serve these other gods. But if you please your flesh, that is an idolater. That's what we have to realize. If you listen to demons, like Solomon, you may start with the wisdom, but you end with, the, with your flesh. So after that, Solomon's children, they divided the kingdom, they killed each other. The family was ruined. The country was ruined. Why do we have to go that way? Even though he's teaching us this, by this mystery, let's live. Let's do more well. Let's fix our destiny. This, this is the, the basic reason of our life of faith. So what have we found? Romans. Let's read it. For if you are living according to the flesh, you must die. But if by the Spirit you are putting to death the deeds of the body, you will live. Amen. These demons who say they have the Holy Spirit without doing false step repentance. It's so sad. James chapter 3, verse 10 to 11. So they have this sweet water coming out, then they have this bitter water coming out. Someone who listens to this and that, that's someone who is simple, who serves demons. In the end, they end so badly. Someone who serves demons, do you, can they have salvation? So it's obvious where Solomon went. You know, you start with the Holy Spirit, but, but you don't say that Solomon went to hell. That's, that's up to God. We have to look at it and we have to realize, and it's we that shouldn't go the way of ruin. I have to live. I have to save my children. That's the way. Is, is this a man?
When I first went to a revival in, in America, these fakes, they said, what are you saying? You only have to believe once. Let's find. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 to 2. Solomon, who started with the Spirit, why did he end as someone who served the demons? Unless the faith had departed. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. But the Spirit explicitly says that in later times some will fall away from the faith, paying attention to deceitful spirits and doctrines of demons, by means of the hypocrisy of liars seared in their own conscience as with a branding iron. Amen. Solomon becoming like this. He started with the Spirit, but he ended with the flesh. He became someone who was an idolater. You say, oh, I haven't, I haven't served idols. But if you, if you make your body your idol, if you make your, uh, your body so precious, that's someone who, who, who serves demons. You make denominations, you grumble, you complain, you eat up your children. So if you depart from the faith, whose words do you listen to? You listen to demons. So when you depart from the faith, what's the cause? It's, it's your conscience. Forced at repentance comes into your heart and it revives your conscience. But those people who don't know about their conscience and they talk about, oh, yeah, they must have gone to heaven. They say they still talk. So what does God say? Your faith departing is a problem of your conscience. So God's commandment is to have a good conscience. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 16. Because it's God's ca- commandment, you have to have a good conscience. So by forced at repentance, Christ has to enter into your heart. But to know, know this, because you listen to this and that. That's why, like Solomon, you're ruined. Even if you start with the Spirit, you can be ruined. But it doesn't just end there. Solomon, he didn't just end with listening to demons and being ruined. And that's why he had the sin of fornication. 700 wives listening to demons, seeking popularity, pleasing man. Galatians chapter 1 verse 10. If you please man, you're not a servant of Christ. Without Christ, 100%, that's a fake sermon because he did these things. He killed himself and his children and his children end up ruining the country. We see. When we see this, What do we want for our family? What, what do you expect for your life? Why do you say you're not doing well? Let's revive our conscience. Let's find myself. Let's only hear God's word. Even though you've ruined all of your life thus far, even if you started with the flesh, you can do well. Even those people who started with the spirit and ruined everything because of their flesh, In Christ, we can do well again. Let's have a new start. Let's save myself and my children. Let's save the country. Is this our men? Let's not be discouraged. How much do people, they can't find a way, they don't have hope that they suicide, but they don't hear God's word properly. They go to these fake churches with demons. Where is there a fake sermon? Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. A sermon without Christ ruins your soul. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. That is the fake. And yet, some and they go there shamelessly. If you depart from Christ, is it blessings or curses? Galatians chapter 1 verse 6, it's curses. If you go to a place without the mystery of Christ, and yet those people do that, that person is the worst of evil. If you meet up with that person, they, they always please their flesh. They serve demons. And you know how many excuses they have. Where am I? What do I listen to? Today, if you go inside of Christ, he said he will make you a new man. Let's have a new start as a blessed man. May, may we and our families all live. So let's call upon the Lord three times. And at this dawn, let's receive this blessing. So without us realizing to go the way of idolatry, to now go inside of Christ and be a blessed man, to, to cut off the demon talk. Even if that heredity has come down from our ancestors, only by the blood of Christ does it 
all change to blessings. Let's change it and save ourselves and our children and our neighbors so that our country does well. Let's all pray. Truly good Father, because I've sinned, I've tormented you, Father. Because I've sinned again, I've tormented God. But still, by the mystery of God, the mystery of Christ, only by four-step repentance, you said you will forgive us all of these sins that we've tormented you. We confess that I am the worst of sinners. Lord, please forgive me. It's because of those sins that may those diseases be healed. It's because of those sins that those disasters and curses, may they be cast out. May the demons that are stuck to those sins all depart. Please watch over me. And please watch over my family. And please watch over this country and our people and all the people on this earth those pitiful souls, please watch over them. May we obey the word and receive salvation and pass blessings to our children. And may we be patriots to our country and our people. And for the world peace, may we live as ambassadors of Christ. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen.